everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So what we're going to do today is start an altered book. <clears throat> so if you've never made an altered book, this might be a good video for you. If you have, you might be bored. <laughs> and I understand you wanting to move on or maybe you need a refresher. I don't know. Um, I just have this book that I got at the dollar store. It's a fairly new book and that's really kind of all I have. And they are glued, which is kind of supposed to be a no-no when you're doing altered books. Um, the thing is, that's all I have. So I'm going to do it the way I've always kind of done it. When I tear out the pages, I try to just leave a little bit of the page in there. That way, um, it tricks the book into thinking, you know, the pages are still there. So if you really get in there and tear out and then pick out all the bits, because you know how when you, sometimes when you tear, there's like, um, this kind of stuff left over after you tear out the pages, don't pull that out because that's what's glued into the binding. And if you pick out all that stuff, it just is going to, you know, make your book not so, um, I don't know what you'd call it, sturdy or reliable or whatever. You kind of want to trick it into thinking it's still got enough pages in there. Okay. So, um, I've done it before and it's worked. So I'm hoping that this will be the same way. I like the color of this because I'm doing the mushroom journal. So uh, this was a good color and then I made this little snippet because all I really want to cover is the spine. I like I like this orange with this kind of mustardy color. So um, I just took all different fabrics and stitched them together and they're just little bits. They're nothing, um, you know, fancy. And then there's threads and whatever and I just stitched back and forth all over. And I did put some pieces behind that would hang out a little bit. So what I do, and I'm not saying I'm doing it the right way, everybody has their way of doing it and that's just fine, is I save some pages at the front. And so for this one I have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And so that's just, those are the ones I wanted to save because a lot of them are plain, so they're easy to decorate and all that. And then what I'm gonna do is start tearing out 10 pages. Eight or 10 pages is usually pretty good depending on um, the size of the book. That'll give me roughly 20 pocket pages, whatever you wanna call it in here. I may tear some with just eight, um, just depending on how I'm feeling once I start tearing some out. But right now I've marked them. So I have 10 pages here that I'll tear out. So I'll tear all these out. Then I'll save two. And the reason you save two is because this page, after these pages are all gone, and this page will get glued together in a pocket form of some kind um, so that we have pockets in our journal. They're, they're essentially going to all be some type of pocket page, okay? So all these pages right here will be gone. These pages will be glued together. That's why you need to tear out 10, 8 or 10, save 2. Tear out 8 or 10, save 2, that kind of thing. So I have my 2 here because then, see, this one, the reason I'm saving 2 is because this one, after these pages are gone, will get attached to this back one back here and then it just keeps going like that so that's why it's um, tear out eight or ten save two okay so what I usually do and we'll just start with this one I'll just do one and then I'll go off camera and um, tear the rest and I'll come back is I kind of like put I have one of these thin metal rulers and it works the best in my opinion but I think any type of ruler with a metal something to tear against. You know, you want it to be sturdy, not super flimsy, like a plastic ruler or something like that. I mean, if you had the hard plastic, that would probably work just fine. But anyway, like I said, I'm kind of tricking the book into thinking that it's still got pages. So I want to just kind of push that in there and then I'm tearing my pages. That gives me a clean tear. It makes me less likely to want to pick the stuff out because it is bothersome when you look and you see <laughs> the little the little bits in there especially when there's just they're all jaggedy and weird if you see what I'm saying and then I'm gonna take and do the same thing just push down into that 
kind of, I'm not squishing it into the fold of the book. Like I'm not going like this in the fold because then I would be too close again to the binding um, and making my bits too small. So see, you can kind of, I think you should be able to kind of be able to see those little, the little bits that are left there. Don't pick those out. <laughs> You'll have a whole whole world of hurt on your hands. If you get the right kind, what you want are the ones that are, um, like a lot of the old books have more of a sewn in signature, not a glued signature, and that's what you want, but um, they can be hard to find. And I've used those before. And the problem with those that I've had a lot of times is that uh, they usually take pages and fold them in half, much like we do, stitch it, and so then if you take out one, you're gonna get one at the other end that comes out, or um, the one right next to it comes out. So I don't know, I don't. altered books are tricky, you just gotta figure out what works best for you, really. Um, and there are a million videos on this. So um, you can definitely go check out somebody else if uh, there's somebody you think does it better or whatever, do it that way. I totally, you're, you're not gonna hurt me. I'm fine with that. Because it's all how, you know, we feel most comfortable about it when it's done. So you do what you gotta do. I gotta make sure I save two back here. <laughs> I get tearing and you know, That'll be bad. So I need to tear out one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put the paper clip on the one that I don't wanna tear, just so I remember when I get there. And if you have another way of doing this that you prefer, do it that way. Cause I, like I said, I am not um, a guru on this. That's just how I do it. I, I've done probably three or four altered books, I think. So it's not something I do a ton of. And I do hear most people say you don't want the glue, the glued in signatures, but unfortunately that's just kind of all I can find at the moment. So um, gotta kind of just use what I've got, you know? So then see, I will be gluing these two pages together and I know there's a bit of stuff back here but once it's glued and all that I, I just doesn't really bother me but if that bothers you then you're gonna have to find the kind of book with the sewn in signatures and use one of those if you want to get more of this out you see what I mean because that's the only way um, you can do that I'm just trying to trick it into thinking the pages are still there Okay, so then I have one, two, and then I'm gonna start tearing again. So I will be back when I'm done. Okay, hello, I am back. I've torn out all my pages and you can see, um, and I never explained for people that are new to doing this. The reason you're gonna tear pages out is because you're adding uh, pieces of paper in, like you're gonna add um, digi or scrapbook paper or whatever to these pages and that's going to make it thicker. You're adding pockets, you're adding ephemera, you're adding all those things. So the more pages that you leave in here, the more gator mouse your book is going to be. So if you like it like that, then you're going to want to leave more pages. And what I ended up doing was uh, tearing out 10, leaving 2, tearing out 8, leaving 2, tearing out 10, leaving two. I mean, a couple places I messed up and tore out eight twice or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? So just so that it kind of gets equal, um, that's what you're looking for. But it'll get it'll get too gator mouth if you leave all the pages in. I definitely wouldn't leave all the pages in. I mean, it seems like fun because you're like, oh, I can make so many pockets and things, but it um, can fall off the binding. And that I had that happen with one that I did, the first um, altered book I did. In fact, I'll go get it and I'll show you. I will show you what happens. So see, it fell off of its binding. It's got cat hair on it. Imagine that, cat hair in my house, never. Um, Felt. This is its binding. See, this was glued too. This is why people tell you don't use uh, glued bindings because the glue just started to tear away from itself with the weight. But most of that is because I left way too many pages in it. And um, the way I originally saw to do it was to glue lots of pages together to get and use like uh, Mod Podge, that kind of thing. You get this really hard, stiff, 
book page and I, I don't love that. I love this book. <laughs> it was meant to be a calendar as you can probably see but it got so warped and so fat by the time I put all the stuff into it. You can see here, I tried to fix it with washi and it just kept breaking and yeah, it was a disaster and um, made me wanna cry for days. But uh, it was a good learning experience. Uh, I learned a lot about what not to do <laughs> and I keep it because I really love it a lot. And um, yeah, so, uh, this particular version that I did, you didn't tear pages out. Like I said, you just uh, made pockets like this is some book page. This is book page. Um, made pockets with the pages and then the rest you just glued completely together. And that does not work. So um, that's why I say you definitely don't want to leave all the pages in and it's sad because like this broke. It was an old book. So yeah. So definitely tear out some pages. And I know it seems like I tore out a ton. You're probably like, oh my gosh, there's nothing left. But honestly, once it starts getting decorated, it's gonna, it's gonna poof right up. So um, that's not really a problem. And you can see here where I left uh, those bits in there. So it still seems like there's pages. Like as far as the binding's concerned, it seems like there's pages there. So that's why I do it that way. But if you don't feel comfortable using a glued book and you'd rather use a, a sewn one, then definitely do that. It's it's totally up to you. I'm Like I said, I'm not an expert at this. This is just the way I do it. And I've had luck so far doing it this way. It, this could go totally fooey. I don't know. But anyhow, that's what I do. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. I just leave some pages at the front because they can be decorated and like this. I'll probably keep that bird and just maybe put something here. Um, and then the pages that are real plain like that are nice because they're easy to cover up the writing and whatever. And then what we do is take like this first page and this page can become some type of pocket. And I haven't totally decided how I want to do my pockets yet. But anyway, what you're basically going to do is like you can fold down this and have a pocket. You can glue around the edge or like glue up here, glue over there and have a side pocket. You can glue down and across and have a top pocket with nice big fat tags in and um, that's why I think the system works so much better because you're really just gluing along the edge of the pages. You're not uh, you're not gluing the whole page together. The wetter this gets, the more of a mess I feel like it turns into. So that's why I don't like doing it that way. Um, this one you could even take because I have these extra pages at the beginning that I probably won't glue together, but like I might steal one of these and do a pocket where this folds down and then this one folds you know so you get a stacked pocket thing and then this will have a scrap of paper on or a, my digi on on it so that's going to strengthen it that way so I'll do I'll do that to the first one just as a starting point because I just haven't decided what all kinds of pages I want to do you can cut your pages in half and make two you know, flipping type pockets. Um, there are just loads of ways to do it and you can definitely go check out on YouTube, Altered Books, and you'll probably find more pockets than you could do in one book. So um, it's definitely a good way to do it. So I'm just going to take my glue for this one and I'm going to go down this side. I haven't done one of these in a really long time, so I'm a little little nervous about it and I'm going to put a little glue down here just so when that comes over with the fold it'll get glued down. Now something you want to do is I want to tuck that in there so I make sure it goes into that folded space. Okay what's the deal here? But one thing you do want to do is try to always keep your book folding this way because like even this is not wanting to cooperate. 
like you want to almost close it entirely and I had to refold where you know where the fold was with that one but the reason you want to fold it almost entirely closed when you're gluing it is because you don't if you pull your pages all the way this way and glue them together and then when you go to close it you're gonna have warping so you want to make sure that you get it nice and closed in there and I didn't get that totally straight but we'll make it work if I have to I can trim off that little tiny bit right there and then I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm not gonna fold this page quite as much because um, I don't I don't need as big of a fold I'm gonna try to fold this one straight if I can okay so then it'll be like this pocket pocket and then this, this will be one whole page because it's going to be glued together not with that page let's see it'll be like a page like that does that make sense now the big thing is getting it straight I'm going to go ahead and take these off because they're causing uh, unnecessary bumps and things I've got them all torn so I'm good now I just do that because it helps me uh, remember to keep my two pages and it also helps me know how many pages I've torn out and all that so you saw in the beginning what I do is go through and I count out my 10 pages save to 10 8 pages save to that kind of thing I go through the whole book and do it that way and paper clip them that way as I'm tearing I tend to get um, thinking about other things and that keeps me from messing it all up so this one I can just kind of put glue on because the whole thing needs to get glued down. The goal really is to put as little glue as possible on your pages because again like I said the wetter they get the more warping you're going to get. So you kind of just really want to keep them not warped. <laughs> so I'm going to put glue um, across here. And across here because that's all that I need to glue this this down and then I'm closing my book and kind of tugging on my page a little bit because I really want it to glue flat as possible anyway I mean you always kind of get a little bit of it's just impossible not to get any warping at all I feel like maybe maybe some people that do it all the time get it real good but anyways for me I feel like it's impossible but as little as as you can is the goal really getting book pages wet is just never good as we all know so the drier you can keep them the better I just really want to try to get that nice and flat so I'm really like almost closing the book entirely when I do that and I know it makes it a little harder because you can't see what's going on but um, you're gonna get a nice flat page that way I can take it this way I've got a little bit of sometimes when you're just starting or ending you have to turn the page the other way and make sure it's laying flat like that one I had to fix a little bit because it does want to grab one way or the other it seems like okay so there's that one oops it's wanting to come unglued because I moved things it's so nice today it's only going to be like 74 degrees or something like that it might rain but I'll take it over the heat that we had any day we could use a little rain that would actually be very nice how did I just totally not get that let's be in a pill right here and this is pretty common at the first and the last pages it just doesn't want to <laughs> doesn't want to but see even just that little bit of glue gave me a, some warping so yeah you just really want to keep it down to a minimum if you can okay so there's that and then you just go on and um, glue them like I said many many different ways uh, maybe this one 
Should we cut it in half so that it's kind of like two flaps, two separate flaps? What's the middle sort of? I mean, I'm not worried about perfection here because that's not what this is about, but let's get sort of an idea anyway. We're about eight and a quarter, it looks like, so four and an eighth. Let me get a pencil. Just so I have, you know, kind of get it straight here. It's not even quite that. So we're going to go with about right there. And I'm going to do the same thing at this end. So hopefully I can get, you know, fairly straight line going. awful. So I can erase those, but I want it there. Actually, what I'll probably end up doing is cutting it out. I'll probably cut out like, that is not the center at all, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. How did I do that? Oh my goodness. Some days you should just stay in bed. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. We're going to go with right about there. Try this again. about the same at the back, but for some reason I got the front way wonky donkey. And that's probably still not straight, but... Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I said, is cut just a little extra, and I can see that's not straight. That's fine. And I'm going to cut two pages, because we're making a pocket. And I've never done one like this before, so bear with me. I'm cutting a little above the line. I kind of saw um, Treasure Books, Natasha, I think her name is, do this, just the very start of her journal, and then my internet went out. <laughs> um, but I saw her kind of flip through, and I saw all the different pockets she did and this was a great idea I've never done a pocket like this I normally do more like the one I just did and, and stuff like that so this will be something different and fun the problem is I can't use a blade so we're gonna do the same thing sort of not go all the way to the inside because again I want to have that space but see now I have this pocket and this pocket they can fold opposite each other you see what I mean okay so we're gonna glue those together and all this will get covered so like um, any alterations I need I can do later so I'm just gonna put glue across this part and I will do like thumb notches and all that stuff but I usually do that after I get them covered because I like the a designer paper to have you know the thumb notch and all that too so I'm pulling pretty good because I want to make sure I get it all the way to the edge of that hopefully they're even they appear to be Okay. 
Okay. And you don't have to do the little space between if you don't like that, but I just feel like um, it's going to give me... Um, why is it not wanting to glue in certain spots at all? It's going to make it so that I um, can definitely open and close those pages without any struggles. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them catching on each other. If you do just the page itself, you might end up with them kind of rubbing on each other and I don't want them to do that so that's why I did the little line down the middle okay so there's one pocket two pockets this one maybe we'll do a top bottom type thing so loading at the top so for that I just need to go down the side finally remember to clean out my glue I got that down here, which I don't want it down there. Everybody's mowing because I turned on my video camera. I don't I doubt you guys can hear it. I can barely hear it. It's out back, but <laughs> just never fails. Okay, let's do maybe a side loader. It's just fun to do all different pockets. Makes it a little bit more interactive and interesting. I mean, of course, you could do all top loading pockets if that's what you wanted. And that would be no problem at all. Did I just do the same thing? I don't know. This one was top. Okay. That's <laughs> like Amy. <laughs> oh, trust me. I would not put it past myself. Uh, Carol Laws cracked me up yesterday. I watched her video because she's using my um, Spooky Past Digital, which is awesome. So definitely go check it out. She's actually using my Spooky Past, my Spooky Times, and my Industrial. So yeah, she's using like three of my digis and it's looking very awesome. But she was having one of those days, you know, where you struggle because we all do it. And she asked if anybody else has days where they struggle. It's like uh, just every video, that's all. At some point I have to mess up something in every video, I think. <laughs> so I t definitely felt her pain for sure. Have so been there. And some days are like that too, where you just in nothing seems to work I don't know just like what what am I even doing so I totally get it Carol and I love you she's so awesome and sweet she's very hard on herself so get go over and give her some encouragement because she does beautiful work I mean, I think we all are. That's just sort of the nature of the beast. It's very hard to put yourself out there on video on a regular basis because, you know, we've all got days. And if you got other stuff going on in your life, which she does, she's taking care of her mom. Um, it just is hard. Like, you just mess up and goof up and do weird stuff that you're like, why did I do that? Yeah, so just go give her some love. And oh, have I been there. But I love what she made in her video. It was awesome. I'm just trying to make sure this pocket gets glued down real good because I don't want um, it catching on whatever I put in there. So that one, sorry, I was too busy talking. I'm just folding down that flap, which you've probably seen people do with book page pockets, just making pockets. And then we're just going to glue it along here and across there. And then it'll just be kind of a big open pocket, which is fun. Talk to 
my son yesterday. He's doing so good at school. I mean, I've talked to him before that, but yeah, he's, he's really enjoying it, which I'm very glad. Oh, I see. Okay, so see, you start getting uh, something like that, which, what's happening here? Is this the one that opens at the top? No. So that is a no-go right there. You just have to constantly be <laughs> checking what's happening, really, with um, altered books. Once you get all these pockets glued the way that you want them and all of that, then it is a bit easier because you're just decorating. So it is a little, you know, messed up to start, that's for sure. At least I find that. Like you just feel like, is this even going to work? I'm going to have a weird bubble there. It's being a stinker for some reason. I'm really trying to tug those pages tight, but maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm tugging too tight. I haven't made one in a long, long time. It's probably been over a year since I've made one. I don't even remember the last one I made, honestly. I guess I don't want to glue that yet. I don't know what other kind of pages I want to do. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You could do one that folds this way, just one pocket this way for something different instead of all of them folding as you're coming into the book. Have it on the back side of the page, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And you can make these any length too. We could make one a little bit like a, a deeper pocket. How's that? Did I get that straight? I think so. And this I'm just completely gluing down. So again, I can just kind of cover this as much as I want. I want to get this pocket straight. It feels like it's not straight. But it's even and even, so I guess it is. Okay. And then we put glue down bottom end, top end. Hopefully this is going to work. So there's one going a different way. We could also do one of the folded ones this way so that it's on the opposite sort of side. So it'll go like that instead of like that. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope I'm making some sense. <laughs> So I know this is kind of a snoozer if you've already done an altered book, and I'm sorry, but um, I just want to make sure everybody knows how to do this. If they want to do one. So this time I'm folding it more the other way, 
which as you move towards the back of the book, you will want to uh, fold it the opposite way. Instead of front to back, you'll go back to front. If you see what I'm saying. Instead of the other way. Okay, I am going to pause and I'm going to continue on uh, making pockets and then I'll come back and I'll show you the pockets I've made just so we're not just doing this the whole time. I'll okay, right I am back and it is pouring rain so you might hear it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, what we have is our first um, three pages or th four pages I guess it is which I may turn a couple into pockets or something but for now I'm going to leave them like they are because I might just add things to them like for example I have this book page pocket that I made some time ago I don't even know I just found it in my stash of junk but anyway I would glue that onto a page probably not this one oh, yeah that one would work Anyway, glue it onto the page. There's a little pocket here, a little pocket here. When you turn it over to this page, there's a pocket here and a pocket here. May use that, I don't know. But, um, so that's why I like to leave some of those type of pages on there. And then we have this pocket that has one, two pockets. And we have our flippity flappity pockets. Oh my gosh, if you have hands that work this one and then there's another one right there I'm not gonna fiddle with that but then see I have this pocket that doesn't have anything on it I can either make that a writing space or I could add something like this which is my little mushroom pocket that we made the other day so we have those kind of things it is gonna be a mushroom journal like I mentioned there's this top loading big pocket a side loading pocket these are the ones I did with you guys this pocket here then there is uh, two spaces. This could be a nice journaling spot. There's this pocket here, a journaling spot, this pocket here. And then I did this one. I don't know what I was thinking. It's just <laughs> because you can see the torn pages, but that's just the way it's going to be because I did it. So that one, and I did that by um, cutting Actually, I tore it so that it would match. But anyway, down to wherever I wanted the pocket to start. So that's where the pocket starts. And then I just glued around the edge. Okay, and then I have a journaling spot. And then this uh, pocket is one that uh, Natasha did on Treasure Books. It's a pocket this way and uh, another pocket here. So what you do is fold your page over like we did for these, where you fold the top half of the page over. You glue that one to this page. Then you take both pages and fold up the bottom to get this. So this is just two book pages. One book page gets folded over to make this pocket. It gets glued to this back page. Then this back page and this page get folded up to make this pocket, if you see what I'm saying. Then there's this pocket and also a, a little skinny one up here. So I turned one of these, instead of gluing this whole thing shut, I just glued down the edge over here when I folded it, made it into a pocket and then this pocket. Okay, then there's some writing space. Oh, wait, what did I do here? Oh, this is the one that is two pockets. So I should probably do thumb notches on these just so I don't forget. It's one pocket and two pockets. And all I did to make that one was glue down the center, glue at the top and glue at the bottom. That made two pockets here. And I think I will go ahead. I, like I said, I normally don't like to do that, but I will forget and be bumbling around trying to remember what I did, so. Sometimes you just gotta do it so you remember. That's why I punched a few other thumb notches as well. And this going all the way through, even though normally I just do one layer. But, okay. So that's two pockets there. And that's very simple to do. And then I have some extra ones at the back again. I think there's just three back here. So that is that, and you can see, you know, it isn't like super fat or anything, 
but the more ephemera we add, the fatter and fatter it will become. So you just want to be real careful with leaving too many pages in. It's very tempting. I get it. Because when I first started, I was like, oh, but I don't want to rip out pages. I want I want to decorate a lot of pages. But mm, you really kind of just you get a bigger book if you want to do that. If you want more pages to decorate like than what I have, um, get a bigger book. Because this was just a tiny book. This was like 300 pages or something like that, which is the size that I kind of like to... Um, do altered books with so yeah just make sure you get a larger book if that's what you want but because you can add all this kind of stuff to it too so you're definitely going to have enough all right so we will see you again tomorrow with more of this love you guys bye